hey, do you know the drill? I come out, visit a new trail, record the trail, show you around, and, and then you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And today, actually, I am at the Ingham County Conservational District. I had to come here today because this trail is about to be closed for the hunting season. So I took my chance and I came out here today. Uh, the parking lot here is located just off the Howley Road. Uh, I'm just gonna do today for this video the south portion, the south loop of this trail. There is also a north loop, but I'm gonna leave that for another video in the future. And if you plan your trip here, please note that this, this trail is closed during a hunting season. So uh, plan your visit here to, with that in, uh, in mind. They have a parking lot here. Currently, there is no uh, bathroom here. So if you need to go to the bathroom, remember to do that at home before uh, heading out. And uh, parking lot is free. Uh, there is the, the trail entry back there. So I have my bike ready to go. And, uh, I'm just going to grab it and uh, we can go for a bike ride. Let's go. Okay, here we go again. Exploring the ICD, Ingham County Recreational District. Hiking, biking, trail. This trail fairly new I believe it was developed by volunteers just a few years ago it's part of the Mid Michigan mountain biking association trails um, they actually have a good website with information about trails to ride around around the Mid Michigan <laughs> and uh, the great trails this one here, family friendly, kid friendly trail. I think uh, I think the website Trail Forks labeled this trail as a green trail with some segments blue, which means uh, a little bit more challenge than the green trail, but still overall uh, easy, right? Fun, enjoyable. Uh, there is chance that you see some wildlife while you're riding uh, deers and other creatures so i'm glad i had a chance to come and check it out today like i said this trail is going to be closed pretty soon for hunting season so today was the day to come for a ride here and it's not my first time visiting this trail actually i was here back and april at the time i had i uh i couldn't record the ride i just did a little bit of uh i took a few videos but they were not worthy to actually upload hopefully this one provides some information for people at least people who've never been here and uh, they can uh they can see the video and uh, find out if the trail is a good ride for them. I hope so. Because all the trails around here are on the lands in the area, Michigan. I think all those trails deserve love. There's uh, a lot of people behind each trail and uh, working hard to make those trails enjoyable for everybody. So far this one, that's good. Some uh, loops around, but nothing too crazy so far. Even a newbie like me can do it. It's a beautiful day so far. It looks nice. I 
think there are some spots the trail has some features like wooden wooden features but there's also the option to to bypass them in case you don't want to do them but if you're an advanced advanced rider you can try those and have some fun i don't think i'll do that today one of my goals is to complete the ride with a broken bones so i want to stick to that goal Back when I was a, a young kid, I used to do all those things, but now the recovery takes me twice as long as it used to be. I try not to get injured on purpose. <laughs> yeah, there's some wooden features right there. Not today for me. This one, there's no way to skip it, but it's not too bad. Rock work. Burn. Ah, more loops. Yeah, nice. Got it. <laughs> Some corner in here. I need to work my corner in. Look to the river there. <laughs> I think there's some uh, climbs coming up here. Some hills. Nothing too crazy, I think. I hope. <laughs> or maybe, uh, maybe I hope they make me work. I mean, I do need a good workout. So let's see. There's one. Let's go. Got it. More climb coming up. Trees are kind of tight in some spots, so you have to uh, make sure your handlebar fit between the trees. Another climb. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Okay, so that's good so far. like a pine forest coming up oh man root ha. 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 three <laughs> I'll stay
nice nice little forest pine forest oh man So this trail is uh, at uh, one direction and it changes depending on the day you're here. Today we're following the uh, blue arrows. So this is the way for the blue arrows. I think the other day it goes with the red arrows. Today we're doing blue. I heard some people they enjoy the trail more going the other way. Some people say they enjoy it when it's blue. Uh, at this point, I can't I, I can't tell I have preference because I haven't I haven't gone the other way. But so far it's good. There are some downhills and equally uphills. So it make you work both ways. <laughs> yeah. We go right. I think this is a connector. This here is the, at the end of this connector, this is the section that is labeled blue. I'm gonna check it out. So at this point, the trail is supposed to be blue trail. Mostly, I believe, is due to uh, climbs and descent. Not because it's, it's the features or anything. So if you are uh, new to mountain biking, Remember to be careful and all the roots here and the cornering. But other than that, you'll be fine. Let's get my front tire slit there. Okay, right. Beautiful day, nice and sunny. Mosquitoes aren't too bad.
find the blue light, uh, arrow just to go this way Cement garden. <laughs> nice break from pedal in here. Oh, the connector again. Okay. Let's try this other portion. This one shouldn't be bad, this little portion here, this little section. I remember riding it back in April and not having any issues. I think this is the other portion of the trail that is labeled blue. It's a lot of trees and a lot of cornering. So I've got to be careful here. But other than that, shouldn't be any issues. Are we there yet? Oh, rock garden. Nice. Wooden future. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, my friends, that was the Ingham County Conservation District South Loop, South portion of their uh, mountain bike trail. Uh, if you plan on uh, visiting this trail, just keep in mind it's going to be closed during the hunting season, but you can come and check it out in the spring or summertime or even during the winter for some uh, fat tire bike riding. So also remember to uh, stay tuned for the north portion of uh, this trail. I'm planning on uh, doing a video coming up and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed that video too. So remember, if you enjoy this kind of content, I'm trying to develop this channel as uh, everything bicycle related for the Lansing area and eventually for the whole state of Michigan. I'm planning on take you to different loops, different uh, 
trails, different areas for uh, bike riding, and of course other type of activities such as camping and uh, hiking and all kind of stuff. So remember to tune back again next week for more videos. And until I'll talk to you again, please stay well. Bye.